Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, I get lost without you guys. Man, I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. No, we're, no, let's get the car. Um, we'll deal with groceries. Let's get back. I'm, I'm tired. I, I, I don't even know. Huh? I need a Oh, you want to? Well, I was worried about getting there in time to get your car rental. I mean, I can run by Giant just to get some stuff for dinner tonight, and then we can go tomorrow. Does that work? Okay. Well, I'm just trying to make sure you got your car. Anyway, Jalen Smith, whose knee was a little bit sore, and understand, we, there's so much information that we get nowadays that, you know, we worry about everything. See, it used to be we never heard about any injuries in practice. Not a game, not a game now. We're talking about practice. But now we hear, hear about every bump, every bruise. We hear about who's practicing, who's not practicing. But back in my day, we didn't know. We didn't know. So we thought everything was always cool. But it's just a minor thing because there's always going to be aches and pains and everything else and stuff. So, you know, Jalen Smith got the veteran day off yesterday, you know, and they reported that his knee was a little bit sore. Nothing to worry about because he's back on the field today. You know what? I, I need a day. You know what? I need a rest day. My damn self because my knee, my back, my, my, my eyes, my, my arms, my shoulder, everything aches. Can I get a veteran day off? Can I? Can I, can I boss? No, I'm not your boss today. Oh, okay. Well, you're my boss today. You know, my boss is an asshole. He's a real asshole. Oh, that's me. Um, but Jalen Smith was what his expectations are for the defense this year. And he said elite. And it all starts today, friends. That's right, today, out on the practice is, field. Is, is that with Taco? There's more people than just Taco. See, see, you, you just cold, man. Well, leave, leave Taco alone, I'm man. If, if, if he shows me something this week, then maybe, maybe I'll. You, maybe you just cold, man. I tell you what, the guy, the guy got thrown around like a ping pong ball with with first and second string guys. Guys actually gonna make the team. So what you're trying to say is. He's, he was like that taco, you know, when you buy the tacos in the store on the plastic wrap and you have to put them in the oven. So what you're saying is before you put them in the oven to make it crispy, it was kind of flimsy. Is that what you're saying? He was a flimsy taco? Yeah. His, his interview didn't show any Or was he just like a flour taco that's just a soft taco? It looked like a ping pong ball. That's what it looked like. Man, I, I tell you one thing. One thing in life you do not want to do is get on Michael Anthony's bad side. Because when he's he's done with you, he's done with you. I, I mean, seriously. You know, once you're in the doghouse with him, man, things are bad. But anyway, I love the fact that, see, that's the difference between, say, a Jalen Smith and an Odell Beckham. Because Jalen Smith realizes, listen, we're going to be elite. And it starts in practice. That means we got to work for it. If you have a guy like Odell Beckham that says, we're going to be like the New England Patriots, and then don't practice. How are you going to be New England like if you don't practice? Especially when you're on a new team. You know what I'm saying? You, you're learning a different offense and stuff, you know? You're not getting the ball thrown to you by a two-time Super Bowl MVP and Eli Manning, you know, and, and those giant cockroaches. So I love the fact that he's talking about practicing. Now, you know, and I think we're looking at a couple of guys that are going to surprise people this year. I think this is the effect of Chris Richard. And, you know, we haven't talked enough about Chris Richard this year. You know, I'm, I'm trying to talk about something else because everybody says that I am obsessed and that should be a restraining order against me for Dak Prescott and stuff. So I'm trying to talk about something else. But Chris Richard, year two, with that defense, I can't wait. Because you can see, you saw some Jordan Lewis plays there that first week. And I know it was just the first week. I know and it was only the 49ers. I know, I know. But you're seeing these guys in better positions and having better technique. And, and the things I saw from a woozy, oh, yeah, you know what? Him and all strong, all strong too, looking good. Yeah, and, and even um, 
and Anthony Brown. Yeah, he was looking. Good. So I think these guys are going to step up. And if we can get that pass rush, you know, I need to see more from Tristan Hill. I know it was the first game. We're going to give him time because when you're in that first game or so, your eyes are wide open. Look at that. 1565 just to go to Dale City. That, that's outrageous. That is 10 miles. How are you going to charge 1565 for 10 miles? Damn. It's literally highway robbery out here, man. But I think you're going to see these guys play really, really well. And if we get the pass rush, if we can finally get some people back on the field healthy, and we get a pass rush, and these guys are able to take it up a notch, ooh wait, you might be looking at a top five defense. And I can't wait to see that. And I'm happy that one of the guys out there that's a true leader is talking about practicing to become elite. That's what I'm talking about. I, I couldn't be any happier with Jalen Smith. And when you think about where we were a year ago with Jalen Smith, because think about it. We were coming off the season where he was literally on one leg. and We didn't know what we were going to get from Jalen Smith. For him to have that season after the year before where you looked at that um, basically, uh, God, I can't remember what it was called, but the basically because uh, he had to wear the Richie brace where he literally had no lift in his ankle, you know? For him to come around and be as fast and as dominant as it was, that, that was just a thing of beauty, and I'm excited as can be. And um, I can't wait to get back home and find out what's what and who's who because today was the last padded practice of training camp in Oxnard for the Cowboys. Tomorrow morning they have a walkthrough, and then they hop on that big old jet airliner headed to Hawaii. Damn. You know what Tracy said to me? She said, really? The Cowboys had a game in Hawaii and we're not going? I was like, I didn't think you wanted to go to a football game. She said, it would have been in Hawaii. Can't win. <laughs> just, I just can't win. My question is, why are you going to Hawaii for a preseason game? Goodwill. Make money. I mean, you can't cut you It's the Dallas Cowboys, could, and of course they you, get to go to Hawaii. Yeah, but could you do it during the season? Have a couple of games in Hawaii during the season? Well, that's not considered a foreign country, though. Who cares? It's Hawaii. And I got to tell you, it's nice going to Hawaii. I would love to go home to go to Hawaii for a game again. Wow. Or... I tell you what, those of you who live in Hawaii, you got the best of the world because, you know, you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed, and there's already football on. It's football. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning. It was a football game. I was like, that's damn. Too early. Uh, are you kidding me? I was in the bar having a... Uh, I'm still asleep. Having breakfast, watching football. Then you got the afternoon games, which were like uh, 11 o'clock. The night game was like four o'clock, and it was still light out. You, it was light outside for all the games, man. And when they were finished the games, and you go out on the beach, man, it was like paradise. Yeah, I'm like, if I was Hawaii, I'd try and have me a pro football team, and I guarantee you that everybody would want to be playing that team. I gotta tell you, as opposed to going to England in the winter time, ain't got time for that. All right, guys. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know it don't work without you guys. So I'll see you guys back at the man cave.